All right, today we're gonna to view three different video editing jog wheels. Uh, we've got the Contour Shuttle Express, the Griffin PowerMate USB, and the Griffin PowerMate Bluetooth. They all offer very different functionality as well as performance and look. So let's, let's see what we got. All right, let's look at our first piece of shit, I mean video editing jog wheel. This is the Griffin PowerMate Bluetooth. Uh, the first thing I want to draw your attention to is the overall build. Uh, of course, it looks nice. Uh, but I was concerned uh, the unit itself is somewhat flimsy. Uh, just by wobbling the top, you can see there's a lot of give. Uh, the outside is a nice brushed aluminum. All of the inside is plastic and you can feel it. I tried it for video editing and it just doesn't cut the gig. Rotating this device quarter of a turn may advance your video by about two frames, maybe about six frames. It really is inconsistent. Then if you rotate the wheel reverse just the same amount, you'll get completely different results. A lot of times it didn't reverse at all. And I had to just keep scraping. Look at now it's scraping as I turn. This is the worst product I've ever owned. All right, this is the USB version of the Griffin PowerMate. It's certainly an improvement. You don't get that plasticky feel. Uh, it is still that nice brushed aluminum. Uh, but again, you can't do a whole lot with this wheel. The software is somewhat restricted. You can only assign one key combination, such as one arrow key to the right and one arrow key to the left. So uh, when you're turning this wheel, particularly in the case of video editing, you're only gonna be advancing one frame forward or one frame back. So that means if you wanna skip ahead a couple of seconds in the video, you're gonna be doing a lot of turning. Uh, I would just use the mouse in this case to advance in the uh, video editing software. This is not a, uh, an improvement over my previous workflow. So I would only recommend this product for basic volume control on your computer, again, or just scrolling through a web page, not for video editing. All right. This is the Contour Shuttle Express. By far, this is my favorite. Uh, it looks the worst. It is plastic, but its functionality just beats the other two by leaps and bounds. So right away, you notice it has uh, more buttons and wheels. So it has two wheels. The inner wheel you can use to advance a video by frame by frame, just like the other ones, but it's just more reliable. It actually has click positions, so you can feel it advance frame, 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 frame. Really great. It also has an outer jog wheel. Uh, this is spring-loaded, so as you turn it clockwise or counterclockwise, it will return to its original position. The outer jog wheel has seven, seven different zones to the left and seven different zones to the right. And each of those zones you can configure to different key combinations. For my use in Adobe Premiere, I have it set so that when you turn it just a little bit to the left, again, it goes frame by frame uh, back. And at, the more you turn it, the faster it scrolls. It's basically just repeating the left arrow key, uh, either one, two, five, 10, 15, or 30 frames a second. So if you turn it all the way to the left, it'll scrub real time through the video uh, backwards. And if you turn it all the way to the right, it'll scrub through the video at a, a nice speed. So uh, you can really just turn it and just get right to where you want. And if you're a frame or two off, then you can use the inner wheel to dial in exactly where you want the playhead to be. These buttons are also all configurable. Uh, I've configured it to play video, stop video, cut in and cut out. And I haven't decided what the middle button's gonna be yet. Perhaps render video to file, I don't know. Thanks for taking the time to take a look at these products with me. I'm gonna be returning the Griffin products, and I'm going to hold on to this Contour Shuttle Express for my video editing. In fact, I'm going to use the Shuttle Express to edit this video, so let's wrap things up and publish this to the tubes.